why did I started this crypto channel? The main goal was to invest and to escape the rat race. That's the whole purpose of the channel. I was doing already some research on crypto assets and I said to myself, why I don't I share that information on YouTube for as many people as possible so they can be aware of these assets and that they can also fight and escape the rat race. What you need to know? Well, in order to get out of that rat system, you need to live below your means. You need to identify what material things you need as essentials. So for living, you need housing, you need food, you need clothes, not excessive amounts. You need help, you need some kind of transportation to be able to get to your job. That's mainly what you need. Focus on minimizing those needs, making sure that you cover them, and whatever extra money you have. First, you need to get rid of your debts, and after that, in parallel, a little bit of investing. That's what I did, that's what I'm currently doing, and that's how I'm fighting the rat race. So while you lower your debts, it's always a little, it's always good to put a little bit of money on the side and start investing so that you have at least a little encouragement that yes, you're fighting your debt, you're lowering your interest and getting rid of those, that part of the, your economics, but also you start putting money aside for investing. You can also put a little money aside for surprises or any type of urgency. You can have those three bags ready. So bag to pay debt, bag for emergency, and bag also for starting to invest. Many people are afraid of investing. It, they think it's too complicated. It is not. There's a lot of opportunities and a lot of information on the internet to start in a simple way. It doesn't have to be extremely complicated. You can go to your bank and open a trading account. I would highly suggest that you do that on your own and start slowly, slowly learning how to do it. But if you're completely afraid of it, you can still do it on your own, but invest in ETFs, for example, S&P 500 ETFs, as a simple way to start putting money on the side on assets that will eventually work for you and provide you with you know a retirement type of returns or you know money to buy a house or things like that please build yourself some kind of cushion and pension because most probably governments in every single country will not be able to help you out once you retire. I already have calculated that the government will not give you, will not give me any money. So that's why I'm investing on my own and covering for my own things in order to be able to be self-sufficient. And if for whatever reason at my retirement, the government gives me a little money, that would be a bonus. But if it doesn't give me anything, I will have set up everything on my own to be able to survive and retire properly. Invest in something that you understand. Obviously here the channel is on crypto assets, but also on a few stocks that are disruptive. And that's how I invest. I invest in things that will grow in the future, that have quite a bit of potential Sometimes these assets are hated by a lot of people, but that's when you can buy them at a lower price. And then when you have conviction on a few assets, you invest, and then you, be, you are patient and you wait until the value is captured by those assets and it gives it back to you in form of returns in your portfolio. Also, for the young generation, start as early as you can especially when you don't have 
tons of debt and you don't have tons of responsibilities, it is critical to have money invested. Inflation, in my opinion, is around 10 to 15 percent. And you have to fight that debasement from government because they will continue printing money. Therefore, the value of the dollar and all the other currencies is going down. So you have to have your money parking some type of assets that will at least cover for inflation and better if they can give you more than that. That's how you fight the rat race. Do not get discouraged, go step by step. There's plenty of resources on the internet to do so. If you want some resources, let me know in the comments. I will gladly share my best sources of information to start getting into it. It is important that everyone has that knowledge. Relying on somebody to tell you what to do is not a strategy. You need to do it on your own, have conviction, and after that, you will be set for life. One thing that I say to people, if you can, and if you're not afraid, put a little bit of money on Bitcoin. A small percentage, it could be 5% or 1%, between 1% and 5% of your portfolio in Bitcoin. If it goes to zero, okay. But if it gives you impressive returns, at least you will have a little bit in your portfolio to help you out. And while you're investing in Bitcoin, read about it, learn about it. It is a special asset that I have a lot of conviction on, and I believe it will change lives in the future. So just start a little bit. You don't have to do a big portion of it, but that's what I would suggest everyone to start with. If you're starting with crypto, just start with Bitcoin. You don't have to go beyond that. If you want to, you can go to Solana, but those would be the first two that I would highly suggest, nothing else. As for stocks and things like that, I would suggest Tesla, Nvidia. You could look into the ETFs of the S&P 500. These are quite good investments to get into. You don't need to have thousands of positions. A few, a few positions are enough. And that way you start learning how to build your portfolio, assign allocations, see when it's time to sell some assets or rotate for one to the other. But you don't have to be extremely active. I am not extremely active. I have been buying Bitcoin since a year and a half already or almost two years and I've never sold one single Satoshi. So I just buy every two weeks, every month, a little bit, sometimes $10, sometimes $30, sometimes $100. It depends. Depending on my budget and what I can do, I average and I accumulate Satoshis. That's what I do. And I know that in 2024 and 2025, we should expect uh, quite a nice return because we are at the good part of the cycle for Bitcoin. We could have in 2026 the correction that can happen, but my conviction is strong enough that it's a good asset to invest in. So I'll be covering a few things like that if you're interested in some of the assets or some of the ways to get out of this rat race, just send me a comment. Ask me what you want to cover. I'll make a video once in a while while we're covering, you know, charts and things like that. Keep in mind that the charts that I use are for entries most of the time. And I invest for a year, year and a half, sometimes five years. So a little delay in the buying of some of these assets is not extremely critical. I try to buy when things are cheap and I haven't done it yet, but try to take some profits when things are really high. So I will share my perspective on my assets for the upcoming years. I plan to make videos here on YouTube for a long time and share the information for everybody who wants to hear it. I'm glad that if I can inspire two, three, five people 
to start investing, that would be ideal, that would be extremely well, because you need to take action on your own. Don't wait for others to do it for you. Don't wait for governments to help you out. You need to take action now. Happy investing. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something different from what I used to do. But keep in mind that these assets and investing in assets is critical to fight inflation, to fight debasement, and to get out of the rat race. Happy investing, everybody.